All right, all right, Major Fame here. Um, couple things got going on, so I just ordered the uh, Keystep, I believe, Arturia Keystep, and I know Arturia is um, NKS, basically like native complete standard or something like that so whatever programs that comes with I know it comes with some should show up in my library um, yeah I'm not sure exactly how you do that do you do it through the um, Oh, what is it called? Native Access? I don't believe so. But if anybody knows more info about that, let me know in the comments. I guess I'll figure it out once it arrives, because I don't have it yet. But, um, yeah, one thing I wanted to mention. With the uh, complete, not the complete, um, machine update the 2 2.14 i believe after i did that my keyboard stopped working i don't know if people watch my videos consistently but if you do you know that on my last video this thing all lit up and it wasn't working but it would show up here So actually, that's why I ordered the other one, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to use that one for bass lines and stuff, and then it'll be cool because it has all the extra stuff on the back of it to where if I ever do get some um, hardware, I can utilize that thing with that. But um, actually, all I had to do was go into preferences, so this is for anybody else that may be having the same problem. I just had to go into MIDI here and I think these two were just checked for input. The Machine MK3 EXT MIDI and CTRL MIDI. So I had to click or whatever check complete control A49 MIDI and Machine Jam. And then for the output, um, looks like it's just, I didn't touch any of this stuff for the output. And make sure your send clock, I don't know if this matters, but it was off and I just did send clock. So, and it works now. So hopefully I don't have to do that every single time, but yeah, if anyone else is having that issue... For some reason, it didn't just automatically plug and play. Um, that fixed it. So anyways, um, what are we doing here? What are we doing? I have a beat that I started. And actually, this is... Um, we've got a Rhodes sample here. But the tempo is off. I've got a little bass line, a couple different variations that I chopped up and used some Abbey Rhodes um, 80s drum kit, I believe. So. That would be the drums. Here's the bass. Which that sample was also um, not at the right tempo. 
but it seems to fit with the drums. A couple of different patterns. sample um let's get out of keyboard mode because i did i had chops but i had them all in um one sound slot which i don't want to do so i'm just going to redo it for the video it's actually a lot longer than that but we're not going to use a bunch of it because I think it just repeats. So, let's see. So we're gonna truncate that. Pretty damn close. All right, so we'll truncate. There's a little tail at the end I don't want. Right there. Chop that off. Truncate again, and now we're going to slice. Oops. I need to be in keyboard mode. No. Sample, slice. There we go. shit batteries at five percent okay so <clears throat> we may just use these beginning ones because i mean it does repeat so i guess it doesn't much matter we'll just use the first four chops off a little bit at the end here. Okay, so I, we're going to call that good. I'm going to go to apply, and instead of sound group, we're going to go to group C, apply. So now, should all be and the reason I did that is because once they are in their own slots like that we can change the pitch and the tune and all that Since my phone's about to die, let's uh, 
Let's see if we can't just make something real quick. group level up just for the video purposes. Now this one right here. It's a little slow. So how would we do this? Um, t -t 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 oh, okay. So if we go to edit, that's how we would do it, I think. Truncate. Yep. <clears throat> it is at 92. Huh. The guesstimation thing here is saying it's even faster. Hmm. Let's see with just the minor adjustments if that sounds any better. Yeah. And if it wasn't, like let's say this didn't hit right on grid, what I could do is highlight it, just a little section, and then cut it. And then that would, you know, eventually if I did that, tinkered with it, I could get it. think that'll do just like that to do the same with the with the bass here instead of having it on a sound slot put each individual chop into its own sound slot because even that dun, 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 sounds a little off I mean like I said with the drums it sounds fine so we'll see
Okay. Uh, one more. something like that. So yeah, um, got a nice little groove going here. I mean, I guess it's got a hip hop vibe to it, but not necessarily boom bap. But I mean, for the most part, they're live sounding instruments. We've got the bass, we've got the uh, um, Abbey Rhodes 80s drum kit, and then a uh, Rhodes. Um, VST basically sample of a Rhodes so you can kind of play it like the real thing obviously it doesn't have all the sound tonality and quality but pretty close um so yeah I forgot what the point of this video was oh yeah the update to fix this so we covered that um and I think that'll do it. Major fame. Over and out, y'all.